And Jesus said, the Bible says, be careful to entertain strangers. You'll be surprised. You just talk to an angel and you didn't even know. You just talk to an angel. It looked just like a human being. You didn't know that it was not a human being. It was a spirit. One day somebody gave a lift from church home. A person was going. Where are you going? Colleague or no? Those days. She sat in the car at the back seat. From Kolegono, you come to Kolebu Junction. Then you come to Kwakwe Last Stop Junction, traffic lights. Then you go down towards Zoti, Motri Road. When she was on the Motri Road, she felt, ah, the girl that she picked from the church is quiet. A real person who got in the car on our car park. When she got to the just as she was getting the dress, ah, she was asking them, are you, are you okay? Why are you? When she looked at the back, she was not in the car. People are not people. She was not in the car. And she became terrified. Yes. I received an emergency call. She was terrified and petrified. I had to leave. It was in the evening, about nine o'clock. I had to leave and go to the person's house because she was going mad. Yeah. We look in the boots, the house, the car, everywhere. I went to the car myself. I opened the boot everywhere. Where is the person? The person has vanished from the car. The person was not a person. So, people are not people. You have to be careful. So, brothers who have been looking at pornography and have developed a taste for strange ones, the person has breasts looking with some type of lips. Even you yourself should see. When you see those lips and a certain, you just say, you know, this is a, a, an evil spirit in the flesh. There are some easy ones to spot. But you see, I'm saying this because you ask a brother, who do you want to marry? And he starts to give you sizes. <laughs> no, I mean, you see, my wife came home one day and she was telling me that this brother had given him size, has given her uh, that she wants some, he wants somebody and has given sizes of things. Size this. How do you even know the sizes? Your, your eyes have been tuned to exactly what exactly what they are trying to get you with and what is not necessary for you. You are higher than that. Amen. If you don't know. So, the people you see on the pornography, you should start to pity them. When you Next time you go, I hope you don't go back. If you go, <laughs> let your mind rather think that they are evil spirits. It's true. Hmm. Genesis. I told you it's very short today. But we are already blessed. Now, chapter 6, verse 1. And it came to pass that when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, 
and daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Now, change it to the Living Bible. Let's see what they have to say there. The sons of God saw the beautiful women. So the sons of God are spiritual beings who we know are not human beings. Saw the beautiful women and took wives of them. Amen. Wow. Elohim. Sons of Elohim. Yeah. Now, and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh. And yet his days shall be 120. Now, we know that people used to live much longer. This particular thing made God shorten. Even after Adam's sin, it wasn't deep. Sin wasn't deep. Now, that is why you, you see certain diseases now you never used to see in a young person. It's true. You never used to see in a young person. You see, now if you see somebody who's 100 years old, it's like, Charlie, why are you not dead? 100, what heart do you want? What else do you want? But before, they were going 900, 700, 500. We are now doing outdooring at the age of 500. Noah and all those guys, they were much older. Sin causes death. So Adam's sin didn't make man live to be 70. Adam's sin made man die in a day. It says, the day you eat, you shall die. And the Bible says a day is like a thousand years. A thousand years is like a day. So Adam died just before a thousand. All of them died. Nobody lived beyond a thousand. So everybody died thousand, five hundred. No, if you read Genesis, you say this one was five hundred, this was six hundred, seven hundred years, whatever. Methuselah is the longest, and he went to nine hundred and something, but he couldn't get, yeah, couldn't get a day. The day you eat, you die. And he died. Do you see? Now, sin wasn't as deep. It was just like he took the, he plucked the fruit, and then it was like, that was a dead. If you read the first and second book of Adam, you see how they were crying. They were so sad and so sad about what they have done and how they were suffering. They said, we could see far before now. We can't see so far. We are feeling cold, and they were suffering. Where is God? God is no more here. He doesn't come to us. They were afraid. The animals, this and that. Oh, it was something. Adam, then they cried. Oh, it was your fault. You did this. Why you made it? When you read the Anara, it says pitiful. But it was not added to the Bible. So, but this particular thing, when the sons of God, you see, in the book of Job, the Bible says that the sons of God were going around. And Satan also came. Well, these are spirits. So the sons of God came to women. Yeah, Job, you see, said there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. These are some of the mysterious verses in the Bible. The sons of God came to present themselves to God. These are angels or spirit beings. Are you with me? So in Genesis chapter 6, verse 2, the sons of God saw that the daughters of it. So these are spirits, and Satan also came there. And even Satan's fall, it looks like he was cast away, but it wasn't so far. You get it? 
in the second heaven somewhere, probably. Now the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fair. So if angels could fall for fair or beautiful women, then I don't know how the brothers are very confident in yourselves. Huh? Verse 3. And the Lord said, this is it. This is it. It was too much. Too much. And he said, now you will not live even the thousand years again. 120. And in between the 120, it came down to 70. Yeah. In Psalms, you see that. Now verse 4. It's where we are looking for. People are not people. Verse 4, New Living Bible. In those days afterward, giants lived. Giant Nephilites lived on earth. For whenever the sons of God had intercourse with women, they gave birth to children who became the heroes and famous warriors of ancient times. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Giant Nephilites lived on the earth. Why? Why were these giant Nephilites living on the earth? Because every time the sons of God. So it means that these angels had penises. I, they must have had. So that's why some people believe that there's sex in heaven. Because the Bible says, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. <laughs> Now, when they had sex with these people, they gave birth to three types of people. All right? Heroes, famous warriors, and the giants. Let's look at uh, Genesis chapter 6, verse 4, in the King James Version. It says, there were giants or Nephilims. These are all the Hebrew words. They're all different. There were Nephilims in those days when the sons of God came or had sex with their daughters and they bear children who became mighty men, which is Giborims and men of renown or famous men, which were Sems, S-E-M. So three types of people have been in the world. Nephilims, which were giants. Then, Giborims, which were bullies and tyrants. And then, Sems, famous people or people who did special things, great things, unusual things that a man wouldn't normally do. And that's why I say people are not people. And these are hybrids between human beings and fallen angels. Or angels which left their first estate and came down. So you have a spirit man. Okay? What do you think? Is it fantastic? Yeah. Now... Do you think such people still exist? Hmm? In the book of Enoch, chapter 6, all right, I want us to, I want to read it. It's a, it's a Christian book. 
Now it came to pass when the children had multiplied, they were born to them beautiful and fair daughters. So Genesis chapter 6 is actually quoted from the book of Enoch. And the angels, the sons of heaven, saw, this is Enoch chapter 6 verse 1. You don't have it in your Bible, but I have it in my book. This, my book, is Know Your Invisible Enemies. Know Your Invisible Enemies. I'm reading from the book. And the angels, the sons of men, saw this Enoch chapter 6, verse 1. Lasted after them and said, Come on, let us choose us wives from among the children of men and have children with them. And Semjaza, who was their leader, you see, in the book of Enoch, it actually gives you the leader of the angels who came down for the girls. <laughs> Semjaza, who was their leader, said to them, I fear you will not agree to do this deed. And I alone shall have to pay the penalty of this great sin. And they all, that's the other angels, answered him and said, let us swear an oath and all bind ourselves by mutual curses, so we will not abandon this plan but to do this thing. Then they all swore together and bound themselves by mutual curses. So they all decided that we are going. And they were in all 200 who descended in the days of Jared in the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual curses on the act. And these are the names of their leaders, of the 200 angels that came down onto that mount. Yes. Because see, the angels were not here. They were not here. So that's why sometimes you wonder that, where does the evil in the world come from? Did God create it? But you see that Enoch chapter 6, verse 1 and 2 were quoted, but verse 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 were not quoted in Genesis. But, and also they left out the book of Enoch when they were compiling the Bible. But we can read it. It's not in the Bible, but we can read. We read book by Rick Joyner, by this, by that, by that. So we read all these. They are all in that category. Now listen. And these are the names of the leaders. Sam Lazars. <laughs> Arakalba. Ramil. Kokabel, Tamlel, Ramlel, Danel, Ezekiel, Barakijal, and Samlazaz. The author is saying that could be another spelling for Semjaza, who was the leader. And then the others were Asael, Amarus, Batarel, Ananel, Zakiel. Samsapil, Satarel, Turel, Jomjael, Sariel. These are their chiefs of tens. So each one had ten fallen angels under him. And the 200 of them came down on the mount, on the summit, and said, we are going for women. Hey! Hey! So, I have probably read out the names of demons. Yes. Yeah. Now, when the angels came in Enoch chapter 8, listen to what happened. So, a lot of evil began to, no, no, don't put the book there. A lot of evil began to multiply in the earth. All right? And in Enoch, Chapter 8, Azazel taught men, listen on, to make swords and knives and shields and taught them about the metals of earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of antimony and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of precious stones and all coloring and dyes. Notice, and there was great impiety and they turned away from God and committed fornication and they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. Listen, 
Now, Semjaza taught, so to the demons came, right, and taught them evil things. That you see it in Genesis. I'm, I'm just reading this part, then we go back to Genesis. And Semjaza taught the casting of spells, root cuttings. Amaros taught counter spells. Barakijal taught astrology. Kokabel taught constellations. Ezekiel taught the knowledge of the clouds. Arakiel taught the signs of the earth. Shamsiel taught the signs of the sun. And Sariel taught the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to heaven. And the women bore giants. And the whole earth has thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness. Are you there? Huh? Now, I'm going to launch verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great. You see, between Genesis 6 verse 4 and Genesis 6 verse 5 is this Enoch. And they taught them all kinds of evil when they came down. And God saw that the wickedness in man was great in the earth. You see, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. You understand? Then verse 6. And it repented the Lord. This, this particular thing rarely affected the Lord. You see, this, this was the, I mean, it was a bad cut because to cut man's life from 1,000 years to 120 is like 90% gone. Yes. It's like I will not let man live for long and do all these bad things. So that's why sin always reduces your life. Sin always reduces your life. You have to be very careful. It looks like nothing, but it reduces your life. And God, it, it repented him. Verse 7. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created. Because the wickedness was now more. So you see, we don't really understand. So when he came and he gave birth to Giborim, this is like, so what is the problem? So it almost sounds a little strange as to why God wants to now... Drown everybody. But you see, when you see the Enoch, the filling from Enoch, you begin to understand, Enoch 6 and Enoch 8, you begin to understand why God was too suddenly, seemed to be suddenly not interested in the human race. Because the 200, they polluted the whole earth. Now the whole earth was made of half angels, half human, half spirit, half man. Not people were no more people. People were no more people. You see a person as a person, it's a spirit angel. Man, don't think that a spirit man is not possible. Jesus himself was a spirit man. Jesus was, Jesus was Holy Spirit and Mary. Yes. So it's possible. The Lord said, no, no, no. I don't want it. Verse 8. And Noah found, but there was one person who found grace. Maybe Noah had rejected. Maybe there were some female fallen angels or some other. Noah said, I, I'm not interested. Verse 9. And these are the generations of Noah. Verse 10. And Noah had three sons. Verse 11. Always saved me and your family. And the, the whole earth was corrupt before God. The earth was filled with violence. Like how it is now. And remember, as it was in the days of Noah, I'm ending as it was in the days of Noah. You see, when people think, as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Noah, there are going to be half angel, half human. A lot of people are not people. Yes, the same thing is happening. Now, I'll, I'll show you one thing and end with a mystery. Go back. Verse 11. Now, the earth was corrupt, full of violence. Verse 12. Ah, and God looked on the earth and all Flesh had corrupted his way. It's like the flesh that he has created for this earth was now spoiled. What does the Living Bible say? Living Bible, NLT. God observed all this corruption. Go back, go back. Uh, let's, let's take it from, and 
He said, all the earth had been, had been come corrupt and was filled with violence. Verse 12. And God observed all this corruption in the world for everyone on earth was corrupt. Everyone. everyone. Verse 13. And God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures for they have filled the earth with violence. I will, yes, I will wipe them all out along with the earth. And the whole world, even in Ghana, the old historians, every culture in the whole world has the story of the flood. You may not know. It's not only in the Bible. I think it's in the Quran as well. I don't know. But all old books, they all have the history of the great flood that wiped out everybody. Yes. You see, the things we are experiencing, you know, that's why I say money is from God. A lot of things are from God. It's spiritual. I'll wipe them out. Verse 14. Build a large boat from cypress wood. So now this, God drowned everybody and left Noah and his sons. Now, end of giants and all that. Now, if you read another part of Enoch, He tells, he talks about the animals, but I don't want to go into all that tonight. Jurassic Park. He spoke about how then the, 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 the angels went to do that with animals too. Yes. It's all in Enoch. And when they did that, it gave rise to abnormal animals. Are you there? Amen. Now, in Enoch chapter 15, it says, Now the giants who are produced from the spirit, from the spirit and flesh, this was the judgment of God in Enoch 15. The giants who are produced, and what's going to happen to the giants from spirit and flesh, shall be called evil spirits on the earth. And shall live on earth. Evil spirits have come out of their bodies because they are born from men and from the holy watches. And their beginning is of primal origin. And they shall be evil spirits on earth. And evil spirits shall they be called spirits of the evil ones. Yeah. Are you there? Amen. And in Jude chapter 1 verse 6, the Bible says, The angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in everlasting chains. Yes. And the darkness. So in Enoch chapter 15, he says, You were, he says, Approach and hear, Why and for what cause have you left the high and holy eternal heaven? And had sex with women, and defiled yourself with the daughters of men, and taken to yourself wives, hmm? and begotten giants as your sons. Though you were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourself with the blood of women, and have begotten children with the blood of flesh. As the children of men, you have lusted after flesh and blood, like those who die and are killed. This is why I have given men wives, that they might impregnate them and have children by them, that deeds might continue on the earth. But you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life and immortal for all generations. Therefore, I have not appointed wives for you. You are spiritual beings of heaven. And in heaven was your dwelling place. And now the giants who are produced from spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits and shall be on the earth. All right? And then he says, And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the children of women because they have proceeded from them in the days of the slaughter. And Enoch chapter 7, it's all between Enoch 6, 7, and 8, and then verse 5, chapter 15. They began to sin against birds, beasts, reptiles, and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drank the blood. And then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. Are you there? So, people are not people because. You see them as human beings. Now, 
Let us see whether God's decision to drown the people worked. After he drowned these three types of people, the whole earth was mixed up. Now they're super people. And in the history of man, you hear stories of Hercules, Achilles, um, Medusa, and so on. And all of them, Moloch in the Bible, it was half cow and the front is a human. See, because they, they did it on animals as well. So you, you had all these mixtures and strangers. So dinosaurs are actually reptiles and birds. You see, if you watch Jurassic Park, you can see. And it's actually a depiction of the demonic thing because you can see that the, the Jurassic Park dinosaurs are very intelligent. Because demons are like intelligent animals. They can watch you. They take decisions. They move. They follow you, chasing you all through the film. You see that the dinosaur is chasing them. Yes. So you see the mixture creates a type of person. Now, when God decided to drown them and Noah started the life again, did all the giants disappear? No. We see them reappearing in the time of David. When they were going to the promised land, there was now giants again. They had reappeared. So what happened was that the spirits, because the angels and humans were spirits also. So when the, the flood came and killed them, the spirits came out and waited. And you see it in one of the books. It says that, and then entered into them after the flood. After the flood, re-entered into people. So that's how come you have the appearance of giants again much later. Even David had to deal with Goliath and there were other giants. And if in 2 Samuel 23, it talks about lion-like men. And all kinds of, but you see, these things don't lie because I'm normal. And when you are too big, you are easy to attack. That's why all these dinosaurs are finished. Even like lions, you don't get a lion, but you get a lizard, you get a snake. If it's big, it will go. After some time, it will be eliminated. That's why it's not good to be too big. Yes. Yes. When it's very big, it will, it will be gone down. So, there are people you meet. They are mixtures. Now, this is the highest kind of demonic person. Demonic mixture. You see, when Jesus, and Jesus met a man who was possessed of the devil. That is one level. But then there's another level. It's not possessed. It's mixed. Now, when you marry such a person, you see that. I mean, you can't explain what is happening for a long time to come. It doesn't even make sense. And this is what explains some of the personality disorders we have. Yes. And some of the misbehaviors we have and Sometimes abnormalities. You even wonder what is wrong with you. And you see from possession, obsession, oppression, possession to mixture. And the person is actually a spirit combination. Mercy. Are you with me? Yeah. But you see, that is why you should just be careful of strangers. Because <laughs> you don't know who you are dealing with. People are not people. And Jesus did not commit himself to it. He said, mm -mm. I know what is in man. Yeah. So everybody has to be careful. Because that is what is here. So when we are praying. That's why demons is actually not, the word demon in the Bible is not a spirit. It's the word deity. It's like a god. And that's why all the idols of man actually are like animals or animal humans. It's like the demons make the people make a picture of themselves. Because Satan's goal is to take the place of God so that you worship him. Satan wants to be worshipped 
bow down and worship. That's why he told Jesus, bow down and worship. All this will be yours. So he always wants to take the place of God. Worship me. So when, that's why when you bow to an idol, it's the highest, like all through the Bible, you see God ignoring adultery, fornications, and all this. But when it comes to idol worship, he will pick you out badly. That's why he doesn't like money idols and all other idols. Yeah. And all these other things. Those of you who have got charms, amulets, and certain things that were given to you for protection, this and that, they are all curses. Yes. I tell you, you may not know. In fact, there are certain parts of Ghana, the diseases that are found there are of a different order. In fact, I, I don't want to mention the region, but I'm sure you can imagine. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Go, you remember, isn't it? I remember. You, strangers, combi- you see people coming, twins, triplets, we are all blind. They are all coming. Triplets, they are all blind, all with a certain type of disease. And so I found out from Kolebu, and I found out that they have actually studied it and found certain wild abnormalities that come from certain parts of Ghana. And it's where they have idol worship. That is, that's what we saw on the crusade. You see a person coming like a, a creature. Dr. God, do you remember the, 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 the woman with the, the claws? She came with claws. Hey! And the skin was like an alligator skin. Crocodile skin with claws. Oh yes, like this, remember? Oh yes. Came on stage and they come, twins, triplets, four of them, or the whole family, all blind, all dumb, all deaf. You see, they're all coming like that. Groups, groups, strange, strange things. Yeah. So those of you who play with these things, yes. It's not a small thing. A friend of mine went to Haiti. You see, there are people who have read my book, Neutralize a Case. They didn't believe it. But a pastor, he said he went to Haiti when he came. He said, since 1803, they have been, you see, their independence, not 1957, 1803. It's 200 and something years ago. <laughs> Long ago. Yes. He said, no, 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 no. There's no explanation. Yes. So, people are not people. Yeah. Kalomo shatale baraba. Telo ma satubala. Telo rama shatele bere bere. And those of you, some of you who may be here, and you are one of the people who is not a people. A curse awaits you for tampering with anything. Yes. You see, you would think you are just relating with somebody, but it's not. A, it's not a people. It's not a people. Yeah, it's a stranger. It's spirits. And you think that I'm just, I'm just getting married. It's beautiful. And you see that. It's like, don't commit. Jesus did not commit. He said, no, no, no. Thank you for your fans and your claps. No commitment. Yes. I know what is in man. And you find it all over. You find it all over. All over the, the history of this world is the history of bullies. Stalin, he used to put people outside. In this winter. Many of you girls who have experienced, how many have been in the winter before? Show me by hand. You've seen winter before? Yeah. He used to put them in winter naked. And they pour water on them. They stand there. You can't move. They pour water on you like this. And pour. Pot after pot after. And you turn into ice. Yes. Amen. Yes. They used to tie a belt, a metal belt around them. And tighten it, and tighten it, and tighten, and tighten, and tighten, and tighten, until it's, and many things, oh yes, many bullies, murderers, tyrants, without feelings, they are not him, the whole earth was filled with wickedness, yes, so when you marry and you have no feelings, you don't exhibit love, you don't touch anymore. You don't kiss anymore. It's like this. It's, are, are you a gibberim? Are you a sem? Are you 
were Nephilim, the Nephilims were my, very large, but those ones were wiped out. But the Gibbos and the Sems, they continue to persist. Yes. The Giborims and the Sems are the ones that are in the system. Yes. Even dinosaurs cannot stay. Yes. Because if you're too big, you'll be killed. And even giants, you can't. Well, small technology, you know, pam, 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 you have to go. So they couldn't last, but the Giborims. And the spirits of these half, when they go out there, they are, those are the spirits. So some of them, you see, they're cows, half cows, half. Medusa was a woman who had her snakes. The, the, hair was, the hair was snakes. So you see the snakes like braids, like a rasta, but they are all snakes with the heads. Medusa. And different, all the images you see in Ghana, we have images. This is the God. Like what? Images like what? Crap. Yes. A crow and different animals. Fish, humans, mermaids. Human with fish. I know a brother who was sleeping with a lady in the middle of the night. When he touched down, it was water. It, when he touched, it was he looked, it was his scales. I mean, he was sitting here, was sitting here, the, the scales. He said in the middle of the night. Yes. A real person I was talking to, this is what happened to him, truly and practically. He didn't know the person, just took to the house. A stranger. Sayaba, Kobaya. A fish. He took a fish to the house and saw that she, after he had sex with her. Then in the night, when he touched, it was wet. wet. Like you see how a fish that is from the sea. Yes, and he looked and it was a fish. There were no legs. No legs that turned into a fish. <sighs> no, you know, you know something? When I think of my life, in my short life, I've met all these people, fantastic stories. Somebody was taking somebody home. I mean, these are credible people. Yes, pastors, people who are having this experience. It's not just in the Bible. Yes, it's real. So you don't have to just relate with everybody and just release yourself. Somebody, somebody can say, well, we can't get close. Why do you want to be get close? Stay at where you are, you are staying. So we can't get close. We don't have access. Why do you want to have access? Are you access bank? <laughs> people are not people. Yes. So I want you to be spiritual. He said, Jesus, the Bible says, about, be careful when you are entertaining spirits. For some have entertained spirits, angels, and I was, this is in the Bible, it's not my idea. Some have actually entertained angels. Yeah. So it means a person can interact with a spirit without knowing that it's a spirit. And a half spirit, half man. Yeah. And sometimes such people are in churches. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Many mighty men has she slain. Oh, come on. Talo shata saya. Yes. Drinking the blood of prophets and of holy men. People are not people. People are not people. So stay around coolly as the years go by. We'll be sure whether you are a Nephilim, a Giborim, or a Sem, or you are in between. 
a mixture. Or you are a real human being. And when the spirit of God comes in you, you take over your life. And those characteristics which are demonic should go away from you. Yes. Yes. Hey. How many realize that sometimes that some demonic characteristics seem to be associated with you? Huh? Yes. 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 God is setting you free. And God is helping you. Father, thank you for your children. No life here shall be destroyed by a giborim or a sem or a nephilim. But everyone shall be preserved in his life and his ministry. Yes. We thank you. That our eyes and our antennas are alerted in the spirit. No strangers shall come near any of your sons, your daughters, your children. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for safety. Thank you for deliverance from all kinds of wickedness. I speak and prophesy concerning the marriages of your children, Lord. Marose to Romoran Ramodazebes Lamorandes Melululi Lalando Doloma Zemalagastos Furiman Muligidis Midigulumi Nigamas Mano Jomus Temalo Stalemon Bizano Caranan de Lebe Grebeke Zebe Julibas To the glory of God. Everyone here shall be found safe, Amen. covered by the blood, Amen. saved by the blood. Delivered from all forms of wickedness in human, in spirits, in human, parahuman hybrids. Malashube katas baladari mandaliba. Thank you for your blessing and your safety, Father. Open our eyes, Lord, to see Medusas in the atmosphere. Moloch spirits and deities that are hovering around that we might curse them and rebuke them and reject them from our lives in every form and fashion. Open our eyes in the spirit to see what we are fighting. Half human, half animals, animal spirits, half human and half angel spirits. Kalama shataba lasustu, strong and wicked devils. We bind all those powers from our lives. We declare ourselves free from stress, from oppression, from stress in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be released. Be released. Be released. Receive a release from any commitment you have made toward anything that you should not be committed to receive a divine release from any illegitimate commitment and mistaken commitment to any creature, any entity or deity or God or half human, half angel, half angel, half animal spirit. Tamasapala. We rebuke the superhuman power and we say let every finger be removed from God's servants and God's children in the name of Jesus. You will not die. I rebuke death from your life. I rebuke premature death from your life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hand and thank him. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. La Ramashwala Dabas. Palemo Ramen Basandolo Makebe. Maya Dalaman Despelidoran de Lemo Shibaba. Shibaba, Baba, 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 Baba,
Thank you, Jesus. Mambelon dom zen di man balengon banda zemelon. Des malanch chimalan lomedes. Thank him. Thank him for deliverance from powers of wickedness, powers of darkness. Thank him. Thank him. Just give him thanks. Give him praise. Baromala shambola masandola makabarandale mamada. wonderful blessing tonight in our life. Lay your hands on your heart and receive a blessing of grace. May the grace of the Lord be with you and may the grace of the Lord deliver you from blindness and may you be delivered from things you are not aware of. From entities and human beings that are posing as human beings but are not human beings. May you be delivered from something strong that is in your life. Something resistant to change. Resistant. You are delivered from it now. By the grace and the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. <laughs>